Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com. I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you today, October 14th. At number five, how to recognize an open leader when you see one. Open leaders understand how to be appreciative, open, and helpful. These common attributes might not seem like anything special, but when they're practiced daily and with enthusiasm, they can transform someone into a great open leader. At number four, tips for building your own maker workspace. One maker designs his own personal maker workspace based on un the unique processes and challenges that he might encounter. Get tips for creating your own workspace based on priorities from this article. At number three, why public libraries need to support open source. Phil Shapiro, a libra librarian in Tacoma, Maryland, wants our public libraries to be able to answer patrons' questions about open source, or at least point them in the right direction. This article offers resources you can use to buff up on open source yourself and then share these with your public library. At number two, four versatile boards for fast, inexpensive IoT development. Learn about these four open hardware boards to help you prototype your projects quickly and inexpensively from compact and, compact and network applications to IoT devices. And finally, at number one, build your own Raspberry Pi tornado warning system. Jim is from Huntsville, Alabama, a city that consistently ranks number one for most violent tornadoes in America. As a tinkerer, Jim respects tornadoes. Jim's respect for tornadoes has led him to build a tornado warning system with a Raspberry Pi. You can learn how in this article. That's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.